Um, welcome back. This is um, the next episode of Evil Land. Uh, yes, I did skip a bit because apparently I didn't start the recording correctly. Uh, and so, yeah, kind of that's kind of lost it to the ether. The only way that I would be able to re-record it because this game does not have like checkpoints or like save points or anything. Uh, I can't go back and then redo it. So, I'll just explain it. I went here, and I talked to the old lady who was weird. Um, it powered up the demon dude. So now his slam has a has two charges. See, look, if you look at on the top left... It goes all- it, it turns to purple and it says two. And now he does this. Which is pretty good. But now... I gotta head to the town. Figure out what the hell is going on. Also, what the hell is this? Where did the village go? My... Goodness, dude. The world got messed up because of this the shit we did in the past. Um, let's figure out what the hell is going on with the world. Oh, this is pretty cool. I like how this is how we play now. It, it feels more like a like an RPG, you know, like an MMO. However, there's still no jump button, and if there was a and also the new button that I suggest, which is the rolling. I I think that'd be pretty good. What's this lady gonna tell me? Uh sure, the great disaster flattened the whole part of the continent, but that's also where we get smug from. As they say, all's well that ends well, right? Well uh, except for all the victims of the great disaster, of course, but then apparently they didn't suffer at all. Boom, gone in an instant. I mean, I don't know much about it. Eh, I wasn't born yet. But it was a nuke! What? How the hell is a medieval fantasy world gonna create a nuke? I mean, they do have access to magic. And if they combine magic with technology, maybe it would... They could make early nukes? Who knows? That's a library. What's this guy gonna say? They're shifting the researchers are the only ones with keys. Yeah, I know. We don't want to read books anyway. They're really pointless. Uh, Alright, I'll search around and see what the hell I'm supposed to do. Alrighty, well, I explored around. I bought some new armor. Which is made out of whatever smug is. Which is pretty much just bronze. I just got bronze, a bronze sword and weapons and armor. That's pretty much it. There was also a, a star back there, but the chest disappeared. But, yep. Alright. Let me keep exploring. Alright. I explored a bit more, and when I got back here, a cutscene activated. Which, Sub told me that we gotta get into the library so that we can read books about what happened uh, throughout history. Because they probably have history books in there. And that'll let us know what... You know, what what's going on. But we need the key. And apparently this dude has the key, so I'll go figure it out. I'll figure it out somehow. Alrighty. I ran around, uh, talked to people. Uh, it was all pointless. Then I saw these kids uh, all huddled together. I talked to them. Then they said they were going to break into the library. Because one of them stole their dad's key. Uh, and then the other two were gonna help out because they want to steal books apparently and something's going on where the people in the future don't want other people to read books I don't know why they don't like books um, but I talked to them and I convinced them to let me join their operation and that I would steal a book for them and they gave me the key now I'm, in, now I'm a part of their team. 
keep to your word and uh and you'll have no trouble see i just gotta get him a book that's good now we just gotta go into the library and see what the hell is going on Idoki, i got in there's a little cutscene um if it does seem like there's a few parts that just disappear into the ether uh yes there are many parts because for some reason uh the recordings turn on and then off and i miss the cutscenes but they're pretty short it's pretty much it was pretty much just me uh demon prince man and sub uh, we talked to the old man and asked him to give us information and then he said that he would if we get six diplomas or six credits from these dudes uh and that there's eight of them and if we get eight you'll give us a prize but we only need six so now i gotta do whatever the hell they want us to do see what do you want are you the new pupil i've dug up a strange relic with a mechanism i can't get a handle on. you have a few minutes to spare sure you're too kind here this strange item was found in some ancient irulean ruins there's no lock on it, save for this bizarre keyboard set with symbol. Uh, do for a great service by opening it. Okie dokie. Figure out which one is pressed first. Uh, and I have to press all 16, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11 12 13 so that's not it none of them go back to i know this one does okay so then if this one goes here then i just gotta follow this okay this one would go to that then this one could be it i think unless there's one that goes to it Ah, wait, 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 there is. This one goes here. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Got it. It's this one. It's this one. Easy peasy. I am so big brain absolutely enormous brain my iq is past 7 billion cool got the first credit what else is over here this guy would this i was gonna say this blonde guy but is that hair blonde i can't really tell it looks like a mixture of both maybe maybe a. Uh, Dirty blonde. Uh, also, this guy's talking weird. It's with the pleasure that I explain you classic painting. You want to learn it? Sure. Thank you, my friends. Uh, with the dot. They cannot be moved. Okay, I can't move dots. And it's it said that the same color cannot be. On the same line. It cannot repeat on the same line twice. Okay. Then. It. Is. Then where'd this go? Uh. Brain. Brain. My brain sharded. This one does not have green. But I can't put it there. Oh, here. Wait, no. Here? There it is. Alright, that was easy. My brain had a little fart right there. I got it. Bravissimo. You are a deserving the credits of painting a classics. Wait, was he doing an Italian accent? Was that what that, that messed up talking was? 
All right, at least now I know what the hell uh, he put in. Let's see, optics is simple as ABC. Uh, where do you credit if you manage to solve a very basic problem? Three-year-old could do this. Yeah, I'm smarter than a three-year-old. Uh, terribly easy. Beam leaves source A and must end up on with B. Move the mirrors. I need to activate all the crystals. How do I do this, though? I already have one activated. I I'll, I'll figure it out. I'm close. I feel like I'm close. Did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. Oh my, that took a while. That took a while. That does not feel like a three-year-old puzzle. That feels like something that a kid in like fourth or fifth grade would do. That is not a three-year-old. A three-year-old would not understand what the hell that had to do, man. Alright, I got the credit. Let's go to the next one. What the heck is this? It reminds me of... Wait, is it the enemy from the first game? The plant creature? It kind of is just using it as like a regular plant that's alive. Kind of like how in uh, Super Mario they use piranha, uh, piranha plants as like guards. Also, um... And also just like have them around. I always found that weird. Yeah, aren't, piranha, aren't piranha plants dangerous? Why the hell do the people in uh, Mario keep them around? Hello there, I am the new cartographer for the Council of Traitor. The Vice Encryption finally developed a system that's uncrackable. Would you like to put it to the test? I'll crack it. Terrific. If you manage to bypass my system, I will award your credit. Cypher, out of the four symbols, which one completes the series of symbols below? Okay, I... I I made my decision. I'm gonna go with this one. Uh, this one feels the most likely. Because I I doubt it would be the, the dots all the way on the left. And, it, and I doubt it'd be the two arrows. I think it'd be like a combo with the, the square and something else. I know the one all the way on the right also has a square. However, it has the lines and it doesn't have two dots. The two arrow looking things at the bottom in the cipher. They have, they both have at least two dots or more. That one only has one dot and then two straight lines. This one has dots. Has more than two dots, of course. More than three as well, but. Final answer. This really is a wild guess. Oh! It's right! What? You found it? Yeah. How did I find it? I, I just, I felt it. In my bones i was like this looks similar ish kinda uh all right let's go to the next hey man library holds so many books it all must be sorted meticulously i am in charge of the archives but because such a collection can't be perfectly store sorted i bear the title of an archivist huh little joke dating back to the imperial era what? He's just making fun of anarchists or something? At any rate, I have a tidying... Wait, were there even anarchists in this game? In the past? When I was like, in the past? I don't think so. I don't even know what the hell he's still that The guy, the joke thing he was talking about what means. At any rate, I have a tidying related conundrum that has me at my wit's end. I haven't slept for three nights. Now... I'd like to give it a try, sure. Alright, let's do it. Obsess the obsessive sort. One of the books in the library isn't in its place. Can you spot which one? Okay, so they're all different colors. So I don't think that uh will help. They all have the white bar. I don't think that'll help either. 
Sizes? No. They're all different sizes. What is the thing that is different? Colors being different is normal. The white bar being different is normal. Size being different is normal. And what is not? One's at the top row. I see. If you look closely, they all have... The ones up here have three lines at the bottom and then one line at the top. Yeah, and they're all the same. Even though they, they might be spaced out differently. Okay, what about this one? This one has two lines at the bottom, two lines at the top. All consistent. Okay. This one has three lines at the top, one line at the bottom. It's the, I think it's, it's this one. It's this cyan one. Because it has two at the top, two at the bottom, when it's supposed to be three at the top, one at the bottom. Found it. How the hell did this guy stay up for two nights? Uh, trying to figure it out when it was that easy. Indeed, the label on this book is framed by two horizontal stripes at the top and bottom. It should be on the second shelf. To think I hadn't noticed it. Thanks for your help. Uh, you earned your credit. Thank you. Oh, dear me, we have this, uh, we have this book in triplication here. Triplication, okay. Take it. We're short on space anyway. You got 50 ghost stories, a book not everyone should read. That reminds me of a book that I used to have when I started high school, like the in ninth grade. I had a book that had like a hundred short stories from different authors, uh, all about like different horror uh, topics. Like one was about a dude who was a jailer, like back in medieval times, uh, and he worked in like a castle prison all alone, and all the prisoners would be were locked up. You know, he would be. The uh, night watch or night guard, and then the story goes that there was a rule, or not a rule. There was an instruction on like the uh, listingy that told them to go down and uh, down the stairs into the well, because like apparently, like how it's described, it's there's the well, and then beside it, like right next to the well, are stairs. That go down. Uh, so like you can go into the well. Pretty much. Uh, and the instructions would tell them. That every night. Uh, when it's. Like you know. Uh, I don't know. Just every night after he had checked all the cells. For the prisoners. He had to take like this bucket of sludge. Uh, down, down those stairs. A few steps. Because it was very specific. It said, only go down to the 15th step. And then stop walking. Stand there for a little bit. Uh, make sure everything's okay. And then uh, just throw the sludge out of the bucket. So that it goes like slowly uh, delivers down stairs into the abyss. Because there was no lighting. Uh, and then the dude would describe how he would hear... Like just something down there eating the sludge. Uh, and yeah, it just gets creepier and creepier. That's just one of the stories I remember. I don't know where the book is. Uh, I remember it being very good because of all the different stories. I wonder where it is. Maybe in a closet somewhere. Uh, greetings, young man. Researcher attached... Uh, attached to the militia at your service. Speaking of service, how about you do me one? Sure. Perfect. The Council of Traders has tasked me with implementing a new patrol system for the militia. I've made sure to follow all their instructions, but I'm convinced there's a flaw. Wait, let me show you. Okay, after leaving the guard room, each patrol must reach one of seven watchtowers. The patrol may go down any path, 
but must stop at the sixth tower it encounters. Also, it can never use the same path twice. If this is always the procedure, one of the towers will never have a garrison. Which one? A can have a garrison. F can have a garrison. B definitely. C D. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, I'm on G and E. Can G and E have a garrison? You cannot repeat the path. Um, go A, E, 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 F, E. Is that correct? Or am I bugging? Ah, uh, let me let me figure this out. I just I'll just guess. It's G. Right. Nope. All right. All right. I'll go with E then. I'll go with E then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, sir. I just want to go to E. Is it E? It was E. All right. Whatever. Thank you for the certificate. Uh, let me talk to the other people. There's two more. Oh, hey, man. Are you by any chance the stand-in engineer they sent to help me out? Yeah. Sure took your time, didn't you? Here's what's up. We gotta replace the town's old piping network. Uh, it's a brain teaser. Go on the map. Piping. Connect point A and B with a network of pipes. The junction screen cannot be moved. Uh, stop it connected. Move the pipes to create a single network that goes through every area of the map. I think what that means is they want me to go through all of the... Want me to go through all of it? Then what about this? What do I do about this? What do I do about this? Alright. Edo. I completed it. I got it. I did the puzzle. Now I just need to do the next one. Let's go. Alright. Alright, ma'am, sir, whatever you are. Uh, apparently lend me a hand. So here's the thing. Every 500 years, two comets meet in the heavens. Books on the subject indicate that the next occurrence is this very night. I wouldn't miss this for the world, but unfortunately, I cannot figure out what part of the scar uh, sky they'll be visiting, visible in. Here, look at the map. Uh, two comets arrive across a di only diagonally. Okay. They will not intersect any star present either before or after they meet in which square will they okay so i gotta find which row that goes diagonal does not have a star in it wait oh it's right here it's right here i found another one it's this one this one right here you go from this this one to this one to this one to this one to this one a straight line and then this one this one this one that's another straight line. They don't intersect anything. So this is the point where it is. I got it. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. I don't know how the hell this supposed astrology teacher wasn't able to figure it out. Of course. How could I miss that? Thank you for your help. Now to award you with credits. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, let's talk to the old man. Hey, old man. I did it. So, are your studies progressing well? Congratulations! You finished all your courses. This calls for an extra reward. Here you go. What'd I get? A useless star. Wow. And the reason I know they're useless is because they had zero uses in the first game. 
it was literally just achievements and for this game it's probably gonna be the same thing i doubt they'd add like a different ending if you get all the stars uh if they do then when i finish the game i'll check it out you know i'll switch it up be like does evil land 2 have secret ending and then if it does then i'll do the stuff and then record that all right now on to my teaching uh, what would you like to know the magi they are a people or rather a civilization that peaked more than 2500 years ago while the world was largely underwater so they were aquatic humanoid beings according to the legend they possessed magical powers beyond anything else in history some even say they could manipulate time itself but these are most likely oh, sorry all right uh but these are most likely the exaggerated explanations of contemporaneous peoples to account for strange phenomena after the fact, nevertheless, after dominating the era in which they lived, they completely vanished 2,000 years ago. How though? If they were so powerful, and they were able to time travel, wouldn't they just be able to go back in time, stop whatever is happening to them, and then fix it? All they left behind were a few ruins and many unsolved mysteries. What would you like to know? Uh, Magilis. Commonly caused, in fact, the most famous relic, uh, somewhat rare, evenly spread throughout various continents. Okay. The lead, incidentally, it was while searching for a Magilith that my former professor, also a great expert on the magic, met her end. His, his professor met an, her end searching for them? Quite a sad story, really. What would you like to know? Alright, how'd they disappear? The greatest riddle ever put forth. Why would a civilization as powerful as the Magi vanish a thousand years ago without a trace or practi practically none? Even after years of research, I must admit I have it the foggiest idea. What would you like to know? Okay. They don't know shit. Uh, what about the professor? My old professor was a leading Magi expert. Her entire life was devoted to figuring out why they had disappeared. I recall she was particularly interested in the Magilis. She thought the stones contained the power that once triggered would enable her to learn more about the Magi. She discovered a Magilith that she believed she could activate with the Stone of Time. Sadly, she was captured by the pirates that lived on the island at the time. No one ever found a trace of her. If no one ever found a trace of her, doesn't that mean she is not confirmed dead? What if she just got captured by the pirates? And then tortured and whatever else pirates do. Because I do not... I want to keep this PG. I don't want to explain what people might think pirates do with slaves. Uh, Alright. That's kind of messed up. But nevertheless, she's probably dead. Look at how old this guy is. If she was his professor, she was probably in her like 40s, 50s. And yeah. He's dead now. This guy looks like he's 200 years old. Uh, people call it the Cursed Isle. Okay. What about the Stone of Time? Uh, it's quite the legend in itself. It has some connection with the Magilis, but I don't know more than that. The item predates the Magi by many years. So long ago, in fact, that no one remembers when or why it was created. I'm not even sure if the stone really exists. The only direct reference I was able to identify in the archives of the Demonian royal family, which I was lucky enough to visit. A uh, large round stone, it's black, with an eye engraved in its center. Interesting. Interestingly, the eye resembles that used by the prophet. Bizarre coincidence, if you ask me, but I am hardly concerned with the outside world. What would you like to know? Okay, the prophet. So that weird... There's a weird cult walking around town. It's like these dudes who have uh, bandanas covering their eyes. And then on the bandana, there's an eyeball symbol. They talk about how the prophet and uh, said that the end of the world was coming. And that there was going to be the great disaster or the great destroyer or something. Magi Isle is located far to the east and can only be reached can only be reached by boat. 
from Sarah Harbor. Its name comes from the Magi ruins found there. Pirates made their home only to be mysteriously driven out later. Whatever the case may be, fishermen still refuse to set foot there. They believe the island is cursed, and so its name became Cursed Isle. Quite the ghost story as if they even existed to get to the Magi Isle and need a boat. Keep in mind that only a member of the Council of Traders can provide you with the pass. What would you like to know? Okay. So why do they not believe ghosts exist? I, we literally saw ghosts like early on in the game. Or is it that I made the ghosts go extinct? Or they went into hiding? Who knows? So I need to get a pass so that I can go to the aisle. But how do I get a pass? Yeah, this is the cult guy I was talking about. When I gaze at this fountain, I think of the future. The prophet has revealed it to us. He alone holds the truth. Water will wash over the world and all will be flooded. The great destroyer is already at work. The prophet will save us. You know what I mean? I thought about the great destroyer and how the prophet's gonna save him or something. Uh, oh look, this is the place I worked uh, part-time at. The, like the, what was it, second episode? It's still here. But this is probably that guy's like grandchild or great grandchild. Welcome to Walk Donald's. We've been serving healthy gourmet food for over a hundred years. My great grandfather, blah blah blah, he's a real legend in our family. So it is his great grandchild. Whatever. <laughs> I guess we gotta head to the boats. So that I can go to the cursed isle. Or just generally just explore. I really don't know what to do. I'll check out the harbor. Uh pays well, okay. To be a sailor's wife, you have to learn patience and then avoid worrying too much, especially with all those tales people tell about the cursed isle. Okay. There will be no leaving the harbor for now. I've got a bad feeling and I'm almost always right. That must be the ghost of that infamous pirate Roberts. That island off the coast is cursed, I tell you. If you want to sail, go and get a force, uh, force measure letter from someone in the Council of Traders. Till then, I won't budge. Give it a score one in Genova if you look around, but it'll cost you a pretty penny. Traders aren't known to give stuff away. There's a cultist here. He came to board the ship, but the captain refused to leave. May the wrath of the great destroyer strike him down. Uh, well, once we've arrived, I mean, I'd rather nothing happen on the way there. Uh huh. Alright. I guess I'll leave this here. This episode is literally just puzzles uh, and fetch quests. I, I'll i figure out what the hell I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to get a, a letter of permission to go to the aisle. Uh, I'll figure it out. I'm not dumb. Alright. I got a pretty... A pretty good brain on my shoulders. Yep. Have a good day, guys. Don't die to the heat. Stay hydrated. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.